episodes together, we are going to imagine that we're going out to the forest. And we're going to find a lot of fun things in the forest, so let's start with a morning song. Morning is come, night is away, rise with the sun and welcome the day. And if you are just joining on, if you could say a hello in our comments section. Morning is come, night is away, rise with the sun and welcome the day. Hello to Luke and Henry. Hello, hello, Emily, Arrow, and Bo. Bo and I are here. Scarlett and Archer say hello from Ontario, Canada. Hello, friends. If you're just jumping on, if you could say hello in the comments section, then I'll know that you're here. Today we're imagining that we are in the forest. Good morning, Wendy. Yes, we are going to read Explorers of the Wild. We're going to have a very special guest today. Hello, my friend Owen is here. Everybody is joining. So let's start with a little review of one of our rhythms that goes ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Let's all try that together. One, two, here we go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. One more time, then we'll add some words. Ta, ta, Ti, ti, ta. Now, since we're going to the forest, we're going to see a lot of cool things in the forest today. But first, let's figure out if forest is a ta or if forest is a ti, ti. Hello to Amelia in Michigan. L, hello, L. Hello, Alyssa in Savannah, Georgia. That's one of my favorite places. Drew in Ohio. Hello, everybody. All right, is forest ta? Forest, ta. Mm. I think forest is ti, ti, forest. So this time, let's say ta, ta, forest, ta. One, two, here we go. Ta, ta, forest, ta. Nora Whitaker and Emily, and Emery in Nashville. Hello to my friends in Nashville. Another one of my very favorite places. I miss my friends in Nashville. Okay, let's try this again. One, two, we'll say forest instead of TT. Here we go. Ta, ta, forest, ta. Let's go forest time. Let's go because it's forest time and on our forest walk, we need our sticks. So while I play a little bit of a melody on bow, you're going to go find something you can use as sticks. You can use real sticks from outside. You can use two pencils. Let me see if my pencil jar is somewhere around here. I can show you. Also, um, paint brushes will work. And that way you won't break the lead. So that's two paint brushes. You can also use two pencils, but a warning is that if you tap super hard, the lead on the inside might break and then it might be broken when you go to use it. So maybe use a pencil you've been using for a long time that's getting kind of small. 
Okay, so I'm going to play bow for a moment while you go and find some sticks that you can use for our adventure in the forest. <laughs> Going for a walk out in the forest when we find two sticks. Alright, go find some sticks that you can use during today's show. Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I found two sticks. One more time. Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I found two sticks. All right, now that we have our two sticks, let's try our rhythm with our sticks. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. One, two, here we go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. One more time and here we go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. We did it. Now we need to use our sticks for our forest adventure song. And for this, we are going to go on a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going on a hike out in the forest when I saw a... And then I'll show you something that we'll see. All right, let's try it. Get your sticks ready. One, two, here we go. Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I saw a tree, a tree. All right, let's see what else we find. One, two, here we go. Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I saw a... A fox! How cute! Let's see what else we can find in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I saw a... A house. There's a house in the forest. This is very interesting because if we were going on an adventure, we might see animals, we might see nature, we might see houses. And if we saw a little house in the forest, that's just like a book that I love. This house once. And we're going to get back to our forest adventure. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about this book because my friend, Deborah Friedman, who made this book, is going to be joining us today. And I can't wait to introduce you to her. And in this story, which she'll tell us a little bit more about the book, we're going to need to do some movements to share about the house and the door. And we'll still need our sticks at some points, but mostly we'll use our hand movements that go one, two, three, an oak tree, because we just found a tree. The tree that I showed you is more like a pine tree probably, that one. But an oak tree is more like the tree in the story, and we're going to make a tree with our hands to show the oak tree. So let's practice that before we give our friend Deborah a call. One, two, three, an oak tree. One, two, three, an oak tree. Two more. One, two, three, an oak tree. And when you do the tree, wiggle the leaves or the branches of the tree. One, two, three, an oak tree. And then at the beginning, we'll give ourselves a big hug. Three hugs around and we'll roll up to the sky. High as the blue. And then we make a house, just like we've been doing for our at-home song. My house once was, oh, how about you? Hello to Bo and Abby in Texas. 
Hello there to all of our friends. Madeline is joining on here. Our friend Millie in Missouri is here. Isabel in Maryland. Our friends in Delaware. Lily and Isabel in Delaware. Hello, hello. I'm so glad that you're all here with us today. We have a big group watching. And I'm glad because today and Thursday are our last two episodes at home together. And we're imagining that we're going out into the forest because we've been spending so much time at home. We need to stretch out and get out in nature. All right, so let's sing a song to welcome our friend Deborah. And you know how this goes. So I'm going to give her a call. And while we call her, we sing our song. If you can hear me, touch your head. If you can hear me, blink your eyes. And I see. Oh, good. My friend Deborah can hear me. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. Hello. And I'm still waiting, Deborah. My camera is waiting to show you on my screen. So we have to wait a couple of minutes. Sometimes it takes a moment for all of our friends online to be able to see you. I could. <laughs> Deborah was doing jazz hands and we didn't get to see it yet, but we will. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when you're almost on our screen, Deborah. I'm very excited because this is a special treat. I have gotten to meet Deborah in person before, but I know a lot of friends online haven't. Oh, we're almost live and yay, you're live, Deborah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now I see your jazz hands. <laughs> yay! And Bo says hello. We're so glad that you're here. Hi, Bo. <laughs> Deborah, we were just on a walk in the forest and we came upon a house. And that's why we wanted to meet with you today to hear about your amazing book, This House Once, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And Deborah, in case some of our friends online have never gotten to meet you before, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I am the author and illustrator of seven picture books for children, including this house once. And here's another one, Shy. Emily, I think you know that one too. Um, I loved that song you made up with the kindergartners. Uh, I just loved it. And my most recent book is called Carl and the Meaning of Life. And it's about an earthworm and um, all the important things that earthworms do. So those are just a few of my books. I love your books, Deborah. And something that I love about them also is that they kind of feel like music when I'm reading them. There's a bit of music in them. Are you, oh. are you a musician or do you have a story about music in your life? Well, I love hearing that, Emily. That means a lot to me because I do try to find the music in words when I'm writing, even though it's not poetry. Um, but my aunt is a children's poet. Her name's Marianne Hoberman. And um, I did play the piano as a child. I don't play a ton anymore, but I have um, my family's with me now. And I have musicians in my family. My husband is um, has been playing lately the ukulele, which I think you'll appreciate. Hey. <laughs> yeah. And my daughter Lucy plays the guitar and writes some of her own songs. And I just, I love it when the music is just filling the house up. Me too. So I love that. I can tell, yeah. I can tell that it means a lot to you. And also speaking of houses, when you were working yeah. on the book, This House Once, mm -hmm. is, is this house in the story your house or a house that you've lived in? It isn't. I made it up totally out of my head. Cool. Um, uh, but I was, um, I went to school to study to be an architect, which for those of you who don't know, an architect is someone who designs buildings like houses. So I've thought a lot about houses and where the different parts of them came from. And I, um, I live in an old house. It doesn't look like the house in the book, but I live near woods full of trees and a muddy river and whenever I look out my window or I walk outside in the woods I think about 
the earth and all the things it gives to us um, that we use. And I'm just grateful for all that. And that's partly what I was thinking about when I wrote the book. That's really amazing. Could you show us a few pages from this house once? Sure. Let's see. Um, This is the first page. It says, this door was once a colossal oak tree, about three hugs around and as high as the blue. And then I have a lot of wordless pages in this book where you can just think about what the page means to you. Um, And I have woods. I have woods and a river near me, but I also grew up around woods and an old stone wall went through our backyard and we had a pond in the backyard and it was full of mud (laughs) and my brother and sister and I still love to swim at it every summer (laughs) with the turtles and the fish and um, we'd splash around like the, can you see that? Am I holding it so you can see it? Like the frog in the picture there. (laughs) <laughs> so I think a lot about my childhood. Um, I was thinking a lot about it when I made the pictures for this book. Wow. Thanks yeah. for sharing that, Deborah. And speaking of those first few pages where there's a door, I know that one mm-hmm. time when I have sung the song before, you were very helpful with our movements. Would you be able to learn those along with me again today? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. And I'll do my best to remember (laughs) that. We had a lot of fun doing that. I know. We (laughs) always do. So let's try again. We're a duo now. We're a little band. So we'll start with the part that goes, where was the door before the door became a door? Which is really interesting to think about because we got to see the door in your illustration as part of a tree. Okay, and now we mm-hmm. need the stones. And where were the stones before the stones became the floor? And then a few things become other things in the story, like before there were bricks, there was mud once. And that's when we ring the doorbell. Ding dong, ding dong. Before <laughs> there was glass, there was sand once. Ding dong, ding dong. And then when we need our house, we make a house, and we've been making lots of houses while we've been at home together. This house, it remembers. This house, and then we make dream hands. It can dream. And this house once was an oak tree. And I love making the tree, American Sign Language tree movement. And we can make our branches sway or wiggle if we want. And then there's, ooh, I love that. A nice windy day. (laughs) (laughs) And the part at the beginning that's really fun to do is to give ourselves big hugs. Three hugs around. And look, me and Deborah matched today and we didn't even plan it. (laughs) And then we'll whirl our arms up and high as the blue. And then we make our house again. My house once was. And how about you? All right, let's try it with Bo, and we'll add maybe a few others. I was singing very high, but it gets a little lower. So we start with the three hugs around, and Deborah's already ready. Let's do our hugs. Three hugs around, and then we roll our arms up, and high as the blue. And then we make a house. My house once was, oh, how about you? singing to friends at home I always wonder where they're sitting if they're sitting under a tree outside or if they're sitting in their book nooks like it looks like you are Deborah. and that's Mm -hmm. what that question is asking us what are you up to today okay now we need our one two three and then it turns into an oak tree and you might notice Deborah's even doing the whole part where we put our arm like this and we make the tree I have to use one of my hands still, but you can watch. Yes. <laughs> Bo needs you. <laughs> they do, but you can watch Deborah if you want to do the whole movements. <laughs> one, two, three, an oak tree. One, two, three, an oak 
tree. One, two, three, an oak tree. One more. One, two, three, an oak tree. Now we need our doors. And we practiced this part, so I think we're ready. Where was the door before the door became a door? Stones. Where were the stones before the stones became the floor? Now let's get our doorbells ready. Before there were bricks, there was mud once. Ding dong, ding dong. Before there was glass, there was sand once. Ding dong, ding dong. And then we'll make our houses. This house, it remembers. This house, it can dream. And this house once was an oak tree. Let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three, an oak tree. Two more. One, two, three, an oak tree. One, two, three, an oak tree. And then there's an illustration in your book, Deborah, where the characters are reading. There's a bookshelf under the stairs. Mm -hmm. And I love that part. Do you like reading in cozy nooks? I do. <laughs> Me too. I don't know. Maybe I could. I love being cozy when I read. I love getting under a blanket and reading. Here it is. Oh, scooch it over a tiny bit toward your left. There it is. Oh, I love yeah. this illustration. It just makes Thank me you. so cozy looking at it. And that's what I wrote. <laughs> this verse is about that page. Sometimes oh. when I'm writing songs about books, I look through and I pick the pages that I want to make sure that I in put into the song. And so oh, that that's one so cool. is right here. Here we go. Where was the doorknob or the bookshelf under the stairs? Before they became the home that we all love and share. Before there were bricks, there was mud once. Ding dong, ding dong. Before there was glass, there was sand once. Ding dong, ding dong. And this house, it remembers. This house, it can dream. And this house once was an oak tree. One, two, three, 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 an oak tree. Let's do our three hugs around. Three hugs around and high as the blue. My house once was, oh, how about you? One more time. Three hugs around and high as the blue. My house once was, oh, how about you? Emily, thank you for writing that song. <laughs> thank I, you for writing of course, this book. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we got to see each other today. And I'm impressed you know yeah. all the movements still. Well, I've done them with you a couple of times <laughs> and it's always fun. It is fun. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for singing with us and moving with us and for sharing the work that you do with all of us here, all of these readers. It really means a lot and we're very grateful. Thank you. Well, Thank you for doing what you do. I hope to see you soon, Deborah. Thanks for singing yes. along. Bow waves goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Bo. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, Deborah. Thank you. You too. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Deborah is one of my very favorite friends. And we got to sing along with her and move along with her. I'm really proud of her for remembering all those movements. It's tricky. Okay, well, now we are going to go back on our adventure. Let me take my headphones off. We have 56 friends tuning in today. Woo! And now let's go back on our hike in the forest. So get your sticks back. 
Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I found a... What have we found so far? Tree and a fox and a house. We just found the house and we got to explore it with Deborah. Let's see what happens next. Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I found a tree and a fox and a house and a... What's new? Bird! Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I found a bird. Now let's sing a bird song that we've been singing about while we've been here together called Little Bird. And for this song, we need our bird beat because we just found a bird, so let's talk to the bird. Little bird, little bird, we must stay in our nest. Little bird, that's the best thing to do. So when you hear little bird, make a little bird beak, and you just need your thumb and your finger to pinch. You can use whichever hand feels best, or you could have two birds. Here we go. Little bird, little bird, we must stay in our nest. Little bird, that's the best thing to do. I know that birds have wings, but for now all we'll do is sing. That's why I wrote this song for you. And I wrote this about a poem story by my friend Brad Montague. You can see the whole thing on YouTube. It goes tweedly dee, tweedly do. It goes tweedly dee, little bird for you. One more verse together, let's make our little birds. Little bird, little bird, when the world is all gone wrong, and you haven't seen your friends in too long. I know that you're afraid and if we cry that's okay. That's why I wrote you this little bird song. It goes tweedly dee, tweedly do. It goes tweedly dee, little bird for you. One more tweedly dee. Okay, since we found the little bird, that's where we are on our hike. Now let's get our sticks back and go back to the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike out in the forest when I found a tree and a fox and a house and a bird and a... This reminds me of a friend. A rainbow! Rainbows always remind me of Zip because it sounds like a rainbow. We found so many things today on our hike. Let's hang out with Zip for a minute. How are you? Do, re, mi, I am well, says Zip. All right, now I'm wondering if I can play Zip and you can play along on your sticks. So, keep a steady beat. Try that. Keep going. Keep a steady beat. Keep a Steady beat. Keep going. Keep a steady beat. Keep a steady beat. Keep a steady beat. 
keep a steady beat keep a steady beat keep a steady beat keep a steady beat nice job okay let's do it again one two ready to tap keep a steady beat one two here we go keep a steady beat keep a steady beat keep a steady beat keep a steady beat that was very fun. I'm glad that we're on this hike and we've seen so many things. We even got to meet a new friend, Deborah, today who's now joining us and watching. And now let's try one more time with our Hello Zip song that goes, Hello Zip, Do Re Mi, how are you? What does Zip say when we say, how are you? Zip says, mi, re, do. Let's try that one more time. One, two, I'll start with the question. Hello, Zip. What does Zip say? Do, re, mi. And I'll ask Zip, how are you? And Zip will say, mi, re, do. Lots of friends are saying they love Zip. I do too. Zip is so much fun. All right, now we have another place to go on our adventure. We are going to the wild. And in this book, Explorers of the Wild by Kale Atkinson, we have a kid and a kid meets a ah, bear. If you saw a bear in real life, this is not what you should do. You definitely need to find a parent and be careful. But if you find a bear in a story, you might be very scared. But then you find out that you are both explorers of the wild. And these two, even though they have a lot of things that aren't in common, they live in different places. They like different things. They find out that they have this in common. They love to explore. Remember how we found out when we want to make a new friend, what can we do? Ask a question, tell a story, listen to who they are. And I can tell that here they're asking questions, they're telling stories, and they're listening to each other. Here, this kid can tell what the bear likes to eat. So let's try the Explorers of the Wild song. This one is one that I wrote with my friend, Kale Atkinson, the person who made the book. Kale also plays the same instrument as me, an ukulele. So we wrote a song together called Explorers of the Wild. And you're going to need your rhythm sticks again. That's our rhythm. Let's try it together. Tap, 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 tap. One, two, here we go. Tap, 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 tap. Please put your sticks down. Oh, I wanna go outside. Oh, I wanna go to the wild. Oh, I wanna the highest trees hey 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 I want to see what I can see pick up your sticks tap 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 sticks down oh I want to run faster oh I want to climb higher oh I want to roll down hills of green Bum, bum, bum. I'll start. You be my echo. Here we go. So we run, run, run. So we run, run, run. To the wild, wild, wild. To the wild. See the birds and the snails. See the 
birds and the snails On the rocks and the trees On the rocks and the trees With a great big smile Everybody show me a big bear smile We explore the wild Tap, 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 tap Tap, 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 tap. Put your sticks down. Oh, I see a bear crawling. Oh, I see a bear out there. Oh, I see a bear and it sees me. Now everyone roar at me. Ah! Hey, 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 don't eat me pretty, please. Bum, bum, bum. So we run, run, run. So we run, run, run. To the wild, wild, wild. To the wild, wild, wild. See the birds and the snails. On the rocks and the trees. With a great big smile. Great big smiles. We explore the... Get your sticks ready. Wild. Tap, 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 tap. Tap 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 Now this time when I say wild you'll try an animal noise and I'll say the animal and you come up with the noise Here's an example snake We explore the wild snake We explore the wild bear Rawr. bird sound like? Maybe tweet, tweet, tweet. Or caw, caw. Now this animal you might not find in the wild, but I do have one in my house. We explore the wild a dog. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Hopefully dogs are all cozy in homes today. My dog is. She's still asleep. Can you believe it? She sleeps a lot. All right, now this time when I say explore the wild, you'll try any animal noise you want. Maybe you'll try an animal from the book. They were birds, they were snails. I don't know what snails sound like, but you can try it. Maybe that's what a snail sounds like. You can try a bear. You can try a dog or a cat. All right, here we go. We explore the wild. Explorers of the wild. Woo! This has been so much fun. Let's review all of the animals and places and things that we saw on our hike. Get your sticks. One, two, here we go. Going on a hike. Out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest, going for a hike, out in the forest, when I saw a, let's try them all, tree, and a fox, and a house, and a bird, and a rainbow. Going on a hike, out in the forest, out in the forest, out in the forest. Going for a hike, out in the forest, when I saw a tree, and a fox, and a bird, and a house, and a rainbow. Woo! What a fun day in the forest together. And now I want to show you some very kind notes that I got from Arrowers over the last two weeks. Look at all of this amazing art. Some arrow art, some music art, ukulele art, stories about Little Bird. I see a lot of Little Bird art, so that's why I wanted to sing that for you today, friends. Thank you for all of this beautiful art that you shared with me. Sometimes I think about how much I love books, and that's why I like to make songs about them. And it means a lot that you think about how much you love this show, and that's why you make art about it. So thank you for sharing that with me. And now I have a few questions from friends. Elle is wondering, what's my favorite animal? 
My favorite animal is a dog. I love dogs. I also love ocean animals, and my favorite ocean animal is a dolphin. If you also love dogs or dolphins, touch your shoulders. I bet a lot of friends do. And have I ever watched Frozen 2? I haven't yet. I've seen Frozen 1, which I really like that movie, so I need to watch Frozen 2, maybe. I'll suggest it. And Carson and Waves wanted to let me know that they really love Bo. And Bo says, thank you, Carson and Waves. I'm glad that you sent me that note. And I have some announcements. Announcements, announcements, announcements. The first announcement is that Thursday is going to be our last At Home with Emily Arrow show on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But on the first day of summer, that's June 20th, I'll be premiering a mini movie. And there will be a few showing times on Saturday, June 20th. And then you'll be able to download the movie from my website. So that's coming on the very first day of summer. I'm very excited. It's my first ever mini movie that I'm making just for you. And also, if you would like to learn from me, I am doing some classes and some summer camps. They're not all online yet, but I'm working really hard on them. And you can go to emilyarrow.com to find out more information if you'd like to learn ukulele or songwriting, or even I'm going to have a glockenspiel class called Rainbow Music so that you can learn from Zip. Thursday is going to be our 30th day singing together, meeting for our shows together, and I want you to know how much fun this has been. You've kept me such good company as kind friends, and I'm really grateful that you've been here. Let's sing our at-home song together. The movie, again, friends are asking, is on Saturday, June 20th, the very first day of summer. I really love seasons. So it's going to be a summer sing-along movie. It's all about summer. The movie is a mini movie. I'm excited that you're excited about it. So mark your calendars for Saturday, June 20th. The movie will premiere live here on YouTube, but it won't stay up forever because it's more like watching a movie. So I'll update you on the movie times. Is it... I think it's Saturday... Uh Uh-oh, let me double check. I want to make sure it's June 20th, not 21st. Before we all mark our calendars, it's the 20th. Saturday, June 20th. Yay, you're marking your calendars. (laughs) That's okay, we're all figuring it out together. All right. I'm at home and you're at home. We're all at home together. Let's do our movements. I'm at home and you're at home. We're all at home together. And let's get an arrow ready to send up into the sky. A wish that we would do some exploring today. That maybe we explore a tree outside our house. Maybe we explore our house and we think about, we notice the things that used to be wood. We notice the things that are made out of stone or glass that we explore the nature that's right here, all around us. All right, let's send a wish up into the air that we can see some nature in our life today. One, two, three, whoosh. Thank you for singing along. I'll see you back here at home in the forest for our very last episode of At Home with Emily Arrow on Thursday. Thanks for singing along, friends, and have a great day.